spent the last few days at Medoc Mountain State Park outside of Hollister, North Carolina. Um, this is actually our first RV experience with a new TAM 400, so we looked for a location that was somewhat close to us, but also somewhere where we can get away, relax, and enjoy the weekend. So we came up on Thursday once I got off work and drove up. It was about a four hour drive from where we live to get here from the Southport area. Once we drove up here, first place we saw was the Meadock Mountain State Park Visitor Center. Once we got in there, well, let's just say this. I pulled in and I had my little fun, walk in, talk to the people who's at the desk, and I have to say they were very friendly, they greeted me, and were wonderful to work with. Once I got in there, I actually picked up a map of the state park, a map of the campground, and also my North Carolina State Park Passport. Now if you like us and enjoy the little quirks you can get from each of the state parks, pick up a passport. Each state park you visit, in the state of North Carolina at least, um, you visit, they give you a little stamp, and let me get to Meet Up Mountain, so you can actually have a look at it. Meet Up Mountain, they give you a little stamp, and once you collect so many, I think it's 10, 20, and 40, they actually send you something saying thank you for coming to visit the state parks. So it's a really nice add-in that the state of North Carolina has done, and I'm sure that other parks around the U.S. do the same thing. But once we visit the, the visitor center, was able to check in. If you're going to be camping here, that's the easiest place, and probably, as far as I know, it might be the only place you can actually check in. So check in there for your RV. And they'll give you directions how to get to your campsite, which is where we are currently right now. When it comes to camping here at Meadop Mountain, you have a selection of 34 campsites. Half of them are electric and half of them are boondocking. Uh, each of the electric uh, campsites have a 110, 30 amp, and 50 amp electrical service. There's no water hookup or sewage hookups, but nearby, all around the park, there's water where you can actually fill your tanks and there's a dump station right when you come into the park. So even if you just need the electric, you can get water and dump your tanks very close by anytime you need to. It's been very convenient. Um, yes, we are actually in campsite number one, and for us it was very much the one that fits us. Each of the campsites are a gravel lot. You have a section that is for your RV, tent, or whatever it is you are bringing us to pop up, whatever. You also have a fire pit, a hanging post for like a lantern, and a picnic table. We set up our pop-up tent and we had our uh, campfire ring where we cook meals out there every single night. And if you're actually needing wood, which for most state parks, you actually need to have wood from the local area, you can purchase it from either the visitor center or your camp post, which here at Medoc is in camp spot number seven. And that's where we actually purchased two nights of wood. It was $5 for a bundle, so we bought two nights worth, and it actually burns really good. It makes a really great fire. So even if you just want it for the ambiance of camping here out in the woods, where as you can see around me, it's nice, secluded, and very, very peaceful. So get you some wood, just camp out and enjoy the night. So, as you can see, like I said, most of the spots are shaded, but there are some that are not. So, if you take the time, look at on Reserve America, whenever you book your, web, your site, check the pictures of the site to see if it's going to be one that is shaded or not, depending on what you need. Also, some of the sites are back in, like ours, or pull through, so depending on what size your trailer, rig, or whatever you're towing is, is which site would fit you best but there is a large selection here well i'm not saying a large selection there is a variety here so you can pick out what would suit you best also in the center of the entire campground is a bathhouse that has very nice uh, bathrooms and i think we said four or five showers for each of the men's and women's it's right in the center very accessible and open as far as we know all times of day and every time we went in there it looks like they had just been in to clean them, so they're right on top of everything. So if you need to use the bathhouse for any reason, bathroom or showers, 
it's worked out great for us because we've actually chose to do that instead of use our uh, facilities we have here in the camper. So for us, it's actually been really nice. There's 15 walking trails here at Meadop Mountain State Park. There's 10 miles of walking trails and 10 miles of horseback riding trails. So depending on what you come here for, there's plenty of choices. For us, we did the bluff loop, which takes you down towards the creek and the canoe launches. It was a three hour round trip for it. And I can't remember exactly how many miles it was, but it's also takes you a chance to either, if you want to go to more, because it actually says on it, it's easy to moderate. So you can either go the easy path, which will take you towards the picnic area and the open fields, or you can take the moderate, which actually takes you down the kayak launch. So depending on what kind of hiker you are or what kind of pace you want to be out of the day, you can look at the maps. There's a lot of easy trails for you to walk or moderate trails, depending on, like I said, depending on what kind of hiking you're into. So just look at your map and like I showed you before, this has got a map and it shows you every single one and down here at the bottom, it tells you which ones are easy, moderate, and what kind of color each uh, trail is marked by. So take a look at them. We love the Bluff Trail, that's nice. Yesterday we did half of it, today we finished up the other half. Now one thing about the Bluff Loop Trail and all the trails here, they're very dog friendly. I think that most of the people who are here currently have dogs with them and most of the state parks are dog friendly. So check it before you come, make sure whatever park you're going to is dog friendly. But here at Meadop Mountain, they are. Um, we actually, we got the Cora cam, we put our GoPro on our bigger of the two dogs and she actually went up down the Bluff Loop Trail for, uh, today so you can actually see some footage of that if you'd like to. Also, one thing we found out when we got here, because of the hot winter that North Carolina had this past winter, there's a lot of ticks and a lot of chiggers out. We have had, I think, four ticks in the last 24 hours that we've had to get off of them or ourselves. So whenever you come off the trails, make sure to check yourself and pets. If you have your pets with you, make sure there's no chick, uh, chiggers or ticks. Most of the trails that are here are actually going to lead you into one area, and that's the picnic area, which actually kind of sounds a little crazy, but there's a reason. The picnic area is a very large open field with a lot of picnic tables, uh, little charcoal grills, a covered patio area. Uh, there's an older building over there. I wasn't sure what the building was, but it's a nice little setup and a good place to sit down, relax, take the breeze in, and definitely in the fall or spring, it'd be nice to just sit out there, put your blanket out, and sit down and have a nice picnic, lunch, dinner, or snack, even if it's a snack. In the open field that is over there, because of where Meadop Mountain is, there's no real large cities around, so they do a lot of astronomy from this field, and also festivals. So whenever you're gonna make your trip to come here, make sure to check and see if there's anything going on so that you won't miss out on anything. Now, as I said, there's no big cities around, so before you come, make sure you have all your groceries, all your ice, all your gas, and anything else you might need because it's about a 15 to 20 minute drive to the nearest city where you can actually get everything you would need. For us, we drove back into, towards Rocky Mount. What? Yeah, well, actually, we did go back to Rocky Mount. Rocky Mount, that was a 20 minute drive, and also, there is no cell service, at least for AT&T, which is what we have. Um, you basically have to drive about 15 minutes away just to get enough cell service to make a phone call. So, also take a uh, plan for that. But plan accordingly, and if you plan accordingly, you're going to be great. So, for us, we actually love Meadop Mountain State Park. We came here looking for a relaxing weekend, a chance to get away, and just get out in nature and that's exactly what we found. We also found the perfect spot for us in our camper. We've been able to sit outside if we want to sit outside. It's been a little hot but you got a breeze coming and definitely in the shade everything has worked out great. The people, both the rangers and the people working at the visitor center have been awesome to work with. The camp host have been great and they are here and will help you with anything you need if you've got questions, comments, concerns, anything, talk to them. They're always driving around, checking up on everybody, making sure everybody is great. And like I said before, if you're looking for the firewood, definitely check with them. 
So for us, we will definitely be looking forward to making a return to Meat Up Mountain because I know that I enjoyed it enough where I'd come back. But when you come to Meat Up Mountain, you are coming here for getting away and relaxing. There's nothing else around here for you to go do. There's no tourist things to go do. It is out in the middle of nowhere. It's a place to get away secluded and just relax. So while we were here, we did a little daily vlog. So if you're interested in seeing what we did while we were here each day, make sure to check that out. And if you're interested in the Cora Cam, which is, like I said, our dog going around on the trails and getting it from her perspective, also check that out. But if you have any questions about Meet Up Mountain, please leave them down below. And if you've been here before, also tell us what you thought of it. So thanks for joining us.